Hey everybody, it's Mingo. Um, I play Skyrim a lot, as I'm sure you know many of you do. And today I'm going to show you how I managed to fix my micro stuttering issue. Now, for those of you who are unaware of what micro stuttering is, it's basically when your game um, it is not losing frames per skip, um, but it's dropping frames for some reason. And a lot of times it causes the game to stutter, not consistently, but every second or so. Um, it it does this thing where it like jitters, and so you'll be running, and it'll be running at normal frame rate and then it'll slow down for a split second uh, hits the name micro stutter so um, I've read a lot about Skyrim users having problems with micro stutter um, I've seen the 64 gigahertz fix on Nexus mods which I also link that in the description below the like button if you want to check that out as well it did work for me for a period of time but I it, it didn't work after a while so after some research um, you know just learning more about the computer in general as and why it does it I found out about something called uh, CPU core parking now for those of you who are unaware CPU core parking is essentially where your computer shuts down cores and opens them on an as-needed basis to save power it was introduced in Windows 7 I believe to make sure that you know we present your computer preserve power for prolonged use which is a good thing for the average user but it can be problematic for a more um, power heavy user like myself so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to coderbag.com which is the uh, URL in the video in my search bar I also have that in the description if you if you would just like to click on it and you're going to download this utility called uh, excuse me I'm sorry called CPU core parking manager and basically one is good what it's going to do is unpark your cores very simple very straightforward I don't take any credit for developing this at all I didn't build this whatsoever uh, I just you know am a user and many props to the developer uh, for creating this because it was a major major help uh, so after you download it, it's very small very quick uh, you unzip it and you open it for safe measures I always run as an administrator just to make sure that the programs work correctly but you know you do whatever you feel like you need to do so the first thing you do is you click check the status and it checks your registry values and it's going to search your registry for the parked or unparked status of your cores as you can see mine are already unparked but if yours are parked then what you would do is click unpark all and then it will have you restart your computer after it's done doing what it does and from there it's permanent permanently unparked if at any time you want to repark them just click part all and restart so it's it's really the quickest fix I've seen and unfortunately I can't necessarily show you all that you know it doesn't that my micro stuttering is gone simply because micro stuttering is very unpredictable um, and my I don't have it anymore so I couldn't show you you know if if the micro stuttering is gone other than to like host a video on twitch or something and play for hours just to show it to you guys but uh, you know just so you you know understand I have Skyrim with all the DLC and a lot of mods a lot of mods a lot of scripts a lot of houses lots of swords lots of uh, dragon shouts I have anything you know it, I have a lot of stuff from Nexus mods shout out to Nexus mods because they make Skyrim a thousand times more fun so from there I mean you just play the game and like I said I haven't experienced the micro stutter issue since I did that because all my cores are allowed to run now I do play this on a laptop so this can be problematic as far as battery life is concerned because you are altering registry values that will otherwise tell the computer to shut down cores on an as-needed basis all cores are running on all cylinders so it will affect your battery life to some capacity but you know if that's not a problem for you if you're like me and you kind of stay plugged up with your laptop all day then you won't have a problem with that uh, if you have any questions please feel free to comment please feel feel free to hit that like button please feel free to tell other Skyrim users who may or may not have the micro stutter issue about this so that they so that we can all enjoy the game because it really can affect how how much you enjoy the game and everybody loves Skyrim so um, you know here again thanks guys so much for checking out my video I really hope this helps like I said let me know in the comments below and just a, a word of warning I have read somewhere that AMD uh, GPUs or AMD excuse me AMD processors 
are not affected by this because they don't have parked and unparked cores. They, their cores essentially kind of run on all cylinders from the get-go, so they don't even have registry values. I don't know if that's all AMDs or just specific ones, but I've, um, you know, that like I said, that's what I've read. Uh, so your mileage may vary. Please don't go in the comments saying, hey, this doesn't work, and then when somebody asks, you know, what your processor is, you say, AMD such and such so I just want to go ahead and let all AMD users know just in case you were experiencing on that end but once again thanks guys for watching the video and I hope this helps you out peace